Alright guys, today is the day that we're going to craft Queen Calypso on my storm. We have to head over to Avalon to grab the actual spell recipe, because I haven't done that yet. I was just trying to throw together some gold so that I have enough to be able to afford it. Because I've been spending so much gold going for reagents recently that I need to like spend some time just building back up all of my gold supply on both characters. So, I'll be doing that soon. I started my garden again so I could get gold from that because that's one of the best ways for me to get gold. So, kind of running low, but I think it's 60k to buy it if I remember, so we should have enough. Here we are at the one and only recipe place in the weird. Greedy in the back has everything you could possibly need. And we'll grab this spell. Hopefully it's 60k. 60k is kind of a lot. At least right now for me. Uh, that one's 12,000. Okay, that one's only 12,000. How much is Queen Calypso? Queen Calypso is 60k. How much is Hephaestus? 12,000. So it's like they know that Queen Calypso is the most difficult one. So they made it the most money as well. Let me see. I mean, it is the least amount of pips. But Athena Battle Site is pretty good. I mean, honestly, all of these are really good spells. Like, this one puts up a bubble. Oh, no, this one's 5 pips as well. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why this one's 60k and these ones are only 12. But that's what they decided to do. I have all of the reagents on me. I just got the 10 Queen Calypso TCs recently to be able to afford this. Seven of them I just found in the bazaar. People were selling them. So I was like, okay, good. And then uh, I got one from someone else because I only got like two from my actual pack openings. So that is everything that we need. All the blood moss, all the amber, sunstone, everything. So let's go ahead and buy this for 60k. I'll be completely out of gold almost <laughs> after this one. And then we're going to head over to my house to craft this. I'm really excited for this uh, card though. Much rather craft it than do Lore Master because I was doing Lore Master and I didn't even get any TCs from her just a really low chance uh did i click card crafting now there it is catalan remember crafting that one queen calypso right here then we'll go and cast it somewhere where i can do it on multiple enemies doesn't even say it hits all 20 percent and that much i don't know it doesn't really say wait is it a single hit in test room it was it was a multiple hit i'm pretty sure yeah, let's craft that. And we'll go test it out because I could No, it was a single hit, but it puts a 20% on every single enemy. That's what it was. Okay, we got plenty of these in here. Let's go ahead and remove a few of them. Decided to go to Triton Avenue for our first cast of Queen Calypso. I'm excited to see what the epic addition to the spell is plus 300 we got a first turn and we got a shadow All right, epic plus that 745 to 805 pretty good i kind of want to use a blade though just to give queen calypso her rightful power but i mean if you think about it queen calypso is basically from uh way back in uh what was that it's in is in Celestia and she's the boss there and she is a really unique looking boss so I'm glad they made her into a spell out of the three new ones I think this one's definitely my favorite just with the animation and everything So it puts up the windstorm before it even takes your blade too. So that's how it works. It gives you like an instant just 20%. I mean, <laughs> compare this to Kraken. Like <laughs> this 20% probably makes it more powerful than this. 
I mean, I could do the math on it. I mean, I have my calculator right here. All right, what is 20% of 0.2 of 445? That is 89, so 445 plus 89. Basically, with this 20%, instantly, the minimum of Queen Calypso is 534. So that already makes it better than Kraken. So this spell is better than Kraken, and it's the same amount of pips, and with Epic, it just makes it crazy. So that's Queen Calypso, a really awesome spell. Glad I was able to craft it today. Eventually, I will probably try to craft Festus on my fire, but I might wait a little bit because I don't think I have the reagents, and I don't want to craft. Uh, I kind of want to wait until I'm like a higher level, maybe, you know, 100 to 110 to be able to craft that. So that is Queen Calypso. You can get the spell as a drop from Lore Master, as a drop from the new pack. We do have uh, space to buy one pack. All right, we're going to buy one Immortal Lore pack to end this video off. See what we get. Anything? Oh, we got a, a hat. I think I have all these, though. The only thing I didn't have were the boots from my opening video. So, that's going to do it. You can get it from the pack. You can get it as a craftable spell from uh, the guy in Avalon. So, go do that if you want to. The Storm one requires the most ingredients, but I do think it's the best one uh, out of the bunch. Well, at least for me, because I have a Storm. But So, that's going to do it. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.